Hey, Jules here. Now we've had a lot of questions about how to connect a mic to a laptop or a phone for recording videos or streaming. Many Rode mics, for example, the video mic range and our wireless mics have outputs that use a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now most laptops and phones have inputs that you can plug them into. So this should be easy, right? Well, unfortunately it is slightly more complicated than that. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to connect a microphone like this to your laptop and your phone and then I'll also give you two foolproof ways to connect a mic to your iOS device or laptop that will work every time and give you the best audio quality. There are actually two different types of 3.5 millimeter inputs, one found on computers and mobile devices, and one used on gear such as cameras and audio recorders. They look very similar, but they are wired differently. The one on smartphones and laptops is called TRRS, and the one on cameras and audio devices is called TRS. This might seem complicated, but for Rode products, we've made it very easy to tell these connectors apart. If you want the right connector for a smartphone or a laptop, you need a gray connector. If you're connecting to a camera or recorder, you're gonna need a black connector. Rode video mics have black connectors, and this means that you can't plug them directly into your phone or your laptop. Remember, it's gray for phones and laptops. There are two adapter cables that you can use that look like this. This is the SC4, and it will convert any of these mics so they can be used with a laptop or phone. Simply plug the black end onto the microphone cable and put the gray end into your laptop. Or for a neater solution for mics with a removable cable, like the VideoMic Pro Plus or the Wireless Go, you could use the SC7 cable like this. Plug the black end into the microphone and the gray end into your phone or your laptop. Once connected, you may need to select the external mic in your device's audio settings or your recording or streaming software. Now, in most cases, this will give you a great result, but unfortunately, some phones and laptops will have issues recognizing that an external microphone has been connected, even if you are using the correct gray TRRS connector. This is actually a limitation of some device hardware as phones and laptops are not really set up for use with external microphones in this way. Now, I wish that I could give you a clear picture of which devices will work and which will not, but it's really variable. We've even found some laptops from the same manufacturer where one model works great with an external mic and another just won't recognize the mic is plugged in. So let me take you through a foolproof way to connect a mic to your laptop, which will not only work with any computer, it will also give you the best possible sound quality. On top of this, both solutions will allow you to output audio to headphones or speakers to hear other people during a conference or live stream. For a laptop, you need the AI1 audio interface and this, the VXLR Plus adapter. This gives you the correct input for a microphone with a 3.5 millimeter output. Now connect the AI1 into your computer with a USB cable. Set the input and output in your computer sound settings to AI1. Now you can connect your microphone into the VXLR Plus using the included black cable. Remember, the VXLR Plus is an audio device, not a computer or smartphone. So for this, you'll need the black connector, not the gray one. The knob on the left of the AI1 sets the microphone level. Turn this up to about halfway and speak into your microphone. And you should start to see the green light flashing. If this doesn't seem to be working, you might need to switch on power for your mic. And you can do this by pressing the knob in. With this setup, you can use any of your 3.5 millimeter microphones to record audio to your computer. Remember, if you are recording video or streaming, you may need to select the AI1 as the sound source in the audio settings in your video app. But what if you're using an iPhone? Well, we have a great solution for that too. You'll need to use the Rode SC6L. This is a really simple way to get broadcast quality audio for your videos. All you need to do is plug the SC6L into the lightning port on your iPhone, now you can connect one or even two microphones if you want and a pair of headphones or speakers if needed. Because the SC6L is a phone interface, it takes the gray TRRS connectors. So you'll need the same cable adapters that I talked about earlier, either the SC4 or the SC7. I hope that was helpful in explaining this rather tricky subject. But in summary, for smartphones and laptops, use the gray connector. This will usually give great results, but due to the limitations of some devices, it may not always work reliably. We recommend the AI1 with the VXLR Plus as the best way to connect a mic to your laptop, as it will work flawlessly every time. And the SC6L is the best way to connect a mic to your iPhone, as it gives the best quality and is most flexible. Thanks everybody. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll try to help out. Happy recording.